Hi everyone, um, quite a few people have asked me to do a um, album share so I'm just going to show you my album from oops, can't get it in frame here it's from um, 2012 um, sorry it's now not focusing very well um, so I'm just going to take you through um, how I set this album up um, it was a bit like Project Life but it was also um, like Chamel's very old, I think it was Document 2010 class she did um, so I kind of have like a summary page for the month and then I had um, a divider page and then some layouts as well and I'm thinking this is what I might do um, for this year as well so um, I use an app on my phone called Project um, 365 or Photo 365 um, which I create this sort of photo a day and I decided that I was going to use that photo at the beginning of each month to just document what I what I done. Um, you'll see my style is quite different in this um, album from my old, from my new um, way of working. But I'm just going to flip through and show you some of those. So here, I'm just putting a link to my um, USA album. So this is just saying, if you want more information, go and look in that album. This is then a divider page. Again, this is just about um, the American holiday with a bit of journaling. And that's on the back as well. So then I done a, basically what had happened in January. So this is then just a summary of those photos. And as January we spent most of it in America, there's not actually much to show there. So that is that. This is then February. So again, there's a divider page. There's a summary um, photo a day page. And then there's some layouts. So again, just layouts about from photos of that month so this is quite a simple one um, using lots of smaller photos around here um, this is one about me and my boyfriend's Lego um, thing. and as you can see I do journal on my layouts it's not something you see in my videos so again more journaling still layering but not um, as much as I do now Divider page, um, calendar page, and then photos. So this is um, about moving back to my caravan. So then there's journaling on different spots here. This is a layout about um, a bridge um, where I live. So and we've been for a walk around there. And again, you can see I've journaled on top. Use this another simple layout. Um, some albums, um, some photos are still to get in this book. Um, this is one of my favourite layouts. Um, I went for a stage of making these, um, I suppose they're like pinwheels. Um, I had a die, a Tim Holtz die, and also a Sizzix die. So. Just like, and this is just me and my boyfriend's feet. This is um, called Such a Poser. It's my boyfriend posing um, down um, on a walk near us. Um, just a layout about me changing my hairstyle for a change. <laughs> um, there's not actually any journaling on this page. That's just more of a decorative layout. I'm sorry if the quality's not great on here. Um, Again, this piece, um, it's mainly all about the journaling, um, me just reflecting on what, what happened. And then again, we go into April. So that's a divider page, then a um, the calendar page. This is a very old um, crossword paper, I really love that. And each... Um, at the beginning of each month I kind of I chose words that kind of summed up um, that month 
and used it on my back and as you'll see from marchers down the side here I have a list of words that summarised this is then when we went to Barcelona um, I have a whole separate album for Barcelona and I like to put a page in in my albums to say go and look in there's another specific album for this trip go and look in it um, then this is a divider page um, I actually lost my grandma at the end of March and May was her funeral so I clustered a lovely picture of her in there um, I then for her funeral um, I made a display of photos um, of you know her past life and actually had them on display um, in the church um, so after the funeral service people came along and looked at the photos and I don't know I, I just thought they're not my scrapping style they're not scrapbooked they're just you know basically layered on paper but I really like these so this is like my grandma's early years I think going into like when we were younger um, then with her family then going through to sort of more recent photos up to sort of some of the last photos we had with her and then I've also just added in um, the service sheet from the funeral so as I say that it belongs in this album because it happened at that time of the year then we go to May where I have again the divider sheet um, the photo sheet and then I've got just some new layers and this is where my um, style really started to develop into how it was now um, with lots of layers and lots of little pieces cut out started using wood veneer a lot more here again is um, a date and this is about um, when I took my dad to um, Harry Potter World for his birthday another really sort of simple layout I got really into small photos last year I think it's with you know the iPhone apps and stuff like that I really got into those and then this is the last few pages as you'll know from you know watching my process videos I'm still working on this 2012 album so there's still um, 12 by 12 layouts that will go in here so this is this divider page again this is where I seem to to do most of my journaling um, this is when I just got my silhouette so I've actually cut my words out that define that um, month and layered over it um, again this layout is about my boyfriend being the barbecue king of 2012 and I've used a lot of um, kind of this is quite themey because we had the Jubilee that year um, this was Jubilee weekend when we had the barbecue so I kind of done this is kind of as most sort of themey as I'll get these are then um, this is some pages of me and my best my best friends and my boyfriend um, and this is out on the beach and down in my caravan and actually in the middle of these layouts is a 8 and a half by 11 and so I just mix those in so I've just mixed in and these are some of the Instax photos and then here's quite a fussy layout um, again that's the photo she took of us and then this is just um, a layout about me starting my um, walking um, to lose weight and I was also training because I was walking a half marathon in my bra around London so that's when I've started to do my prep for that this is actually um, a little envelope hidden pocket in there and then this is the last one that's in this book as I say because I've still got more to add in here and this is about my beloved flamingos which you've seen a layout about as well so as you can see that's how I store um, my layouts um, each year I tend to have two albums um, so this is the first part 
and I don't know if I can show it but on the spine I just put the year and then what book it is so I hope that um you know gives you a bit of an idea of how I set out my layout and my albums I will be doing another layout um album video for my Barcelona album that's currently in storage at the caravan so I'm going to go and pick that up to hopefully get that done for you um, over the next couple of weeks um if you've got any questions or any other videos that you want to see from me then just leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon bye